And now, I just gotta do this side. So make sure you put it up in there. Make sure you use as much as you like. The more the merrier. So yeah, get it all up in there. Make sure it's all nicely coated. All right guys, so I went ahead and took apart this bearing already and put some of the grease in there that I'm using this blue grease to make it slide a bit better all right guys so I put some grease up in the bearings right here as you can see I went ahead and made sure come on focus dang it make sure you put the grease in both sides that way just in case your bike gets wet it does not get rusty like my bike did so yeah make sure you put it in both sides both sides both sides right there yeah and for the front hub on the Specialized P2, if you guys are wondering what bearing size it is, it is a R6-2RS. Let me see if I can get it on camera. There it is. Can you guys see it? I don't know if you can see that. Hold on. I'm going to wipe it. All right, there it is. That's the bearing size for you. I'm going to type it up for you guys just in case you guys can't see that. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to put these little covers on, give it a couple spinneroos, and then it's all good, ready to go on the freaking wheel. So, yeah. Let's get the wheel right now. Ugh, shoot. So we got the wheel right here. So if you guys want, you can use a freaking bearing press and whatnot, but I do not have a bearing press. So we're going to have to deal with this the old fashioned way. Get some grease and then put it all around the bearing right here. Make sure you get the bearing nicely covered so that it'll be easier to slide in. So let's just uh, massage it right now. A little spa session. All right. Anyways, <laughs> let's just uh, cut to the chase right here. Just put it in like so. Nice and flush. Get your bearing. Line it up just like this. Just try and place it as flat as possible. It's going to be kind of difficult. Oh, shoot. I already got my stuck. Dang it. All right. Hold up. Shoot. How do I freaking? My hands are greasy, bro. I got to freaking. Somehow, there we go. All right, now hopefully it'll stay. Now, just get the uh, crusty, rusty hammer right here. Just get it. Give it a little tap, tap. You know what I'm saying? Normally, I would tap these in with a socket, but right now I have my little nitro tool right here. So I'm gonna use this to tap it in. But first, hold up. I gotta kind of tap this side in. All right, I think that's good. All right, let's uh, give it a smack a rune. Oh. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna use this like this. All right, there we go. That's a bit better. All right, is it going in? I don't know. Just have to try some more. All right, it looks like it is not going in. Fail. How about now? Alright, still haven't messed up the bearing yet, so that's good. Alright, I think we're gonna have to punch this out backwards again. Dang it. Oh shoot, I don't wanna do that. Hold on. I can maybe fix this right now. Oh dang it, that's pretty wedged in. Alright, we're gonna have to smack it out. Dang it, I didn't wanna have to do this. Dang it, come on. Why did it have to go in crooked? Dang it, alright, oh, hold on. We can, we can fix this. Alright, I think it's flat right there. Let's uh, try to give it another smack right here. Alright, it's good. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, shoot. It looks like it's kind of going in crooked, but not really. Haven't broken it yet. It's still smooth. <laughs> so, but that's a good sign. Alright, hold up. Alright, making some progress. Alrighty, come on, come on, almost. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. We just landed. There we go. Oh shoot, kind of messed up my tool right here. Kind of gave it a couple scratches, but it looks like this is all good. Holy crap! All right, let's see. Did I break it? No, I did not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Alright guys, so this was a great success. As you can see, there it is. Nice and flush. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Grab the axle and slide it through. Yeah. Alright guys, so I got the axle right here. Very nice. Uh, there's no part number on this, but this is how it looks like. Shoot, focus. Focus right here. Alright, so... All we gotta do is slide it in to the other side, just like this. Make sure you coat it in some grease. Make sure you get this entire thing nicely covered so it slides in nice and easy. Just grab it, drop it in, just like that. And there you have it. Got your axle in, very nice. And all we have to do is grab our other bearing right here and do the same as the other side and we'll be all good. So, yeah, my camera's running out of battery, so um, I'm gonna do this real quick and then I'm gonna switch to a new battery. So, see you guys then. But I'm gonna keep it running though.
Oh shoot, gotta do this quick. Gotta do this quick. Try and do this quick before the camera dies. All right, now we gotta freaking tap it in. Yeah, there we go. Just like that, yeah. All right, it's it's going in good. Uh, I should probably use a mallet, but um, this is all I got. So.